<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I got some mouth to lung coils. I got some mouth to lung coils from uh, MTurk. I got two sets of mouth to lung coils from Coil Turd as well. The Coil Turd varieties are pretty similar. It's two 32 gauge cores clapped in with 40 gauge. This is Twisted Messes Nichrome 80 and this is Canthal. And the Twisted Messes Nichrome 80, obviously just because of the properties of Nichrome, it's just going to come out to a lower resistance, 0.75 and one ohm. These are both 0.25 millimeters. And all of the Turks are the same. This is three 32 gauge cores clapped and with 40 gauge. And I believe Turk uses Twisted Messes Nichrome 80 as well. So this one should be coming out to a 0.65. And these are designed to be run in mouth to lung tanks, single coil bangers, which is why you can see kind of right there. That's why the leads come off in two different directions. I mean, even just comparing the size of those to some regular aliens that would go in like a dripper, you can see how substantially small and compact they are. Got some mouth to lung coils. Coils. I think I'm going to be using the purple coil turd guys, the Twisted Messes Nichrome 80. I've got two mouth to lung tanks, the KFUN 2019, and then the Reload mouth to lung. And I got some tools and I got some cotton bacon. So really this isn't necessarily going to be like a comparison between these two coils. I just like the idea of mouth to lung specific like Clapton's and Aliens. And I just want to see what they're all about. I want to install them in some uh, tanks and see how they vape, see how the flavor is. Both the KFUN 19 and the Reload Vapor have similar style decks, just two opposing screws. That's why those leads on those coils go off in two different directions. And there's the Reload deck right there. I'm going to pull that round wire build out of there. Shoot, what do you think? I think I'm going to put the Turk in the Reload, and I think I'm going to put the Turds in the K-Fun. And the only real reason I say that is because it looks like the Reload is going to give you a little bit more space, and Turk has triple core aliens. Let's see what we can do here. There's that little... Turk, triple core alien. Yeah, see, that's the idea. Leads are going off opposite directions. Let's see if I can just set this in here. Not exactly. You kind of have to thread them underneath the screws, or what I'm going to do over here is just take this screw completely out. Or maybe not. That screw comes out a really long way. Oh shit, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's get this centered, baby. Not bad. Got in there pretty easy. These screws on this Reload Vapor mouth to lung tank do come out pretty far, and they'll hold the thread in and make a very large opening for you to get your wire in there, but... It's in there, it's clamped down. I'm gonna finish this off and get over to that K-Fun. Came out to a 0.38. I got this set at 10 watts right now, and that's probably where it's gonna live. All right, the Turks were a real easy install, and they started glowing evenly right away. Turk coils take very little work to install and get them glowing real nice and even. Now for the K-Fun, I didn't realize that the screws on that K-Fun deck really come out a long way. Yeah, super easy. Super easy to just set down in there, center it over the air, flow. Very quickly installed on the K-Fun. This is Beecher's mouth to lung coil. And I know this ain't a K-Fun video, but here's just the little pro tip. When you're building your K-Fun, just pull your coil up. You want to kind of get it up away from that airflow just a little bit. All right, Beecher's coils came out to a 0.47 and samesies. They're real easy to glow. All right, cool. So I got two installs, easily done. Let's do a quick power wicking session and then we'll get back out and vape these. Wow, all right, they have both been built. They have both been wicked. They have both been juiced. They have both been filled. Now, this is the Beecher one. This is the MTurk one. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape these. I just love uh, I just love a good mouth to lung vape. I've been a big fan of the KFUN uh, RTAs, mouth to lung RTAs, basically since they came out. And throughout my years of vaping, I always, 
always have some sort of mouth to lung setup going, usually a few. And kind of honestly, up until this point, I had never put anything but round wire inside of a K fund. 24 gauge round wire, it, we call it the Ruby build. It's a seven wrap on a two and a half millimeter and it's awesome in a K fund. But now inside this K fund, I have coil turds, mouth to lung coils. These are dual core 28 gauge Clapton with 40 gauge Twisted Messes Nichrome 80. Yeah, it's perfect. They came out to a 0.74. I got them on the k fun at 15 watts. I'm not gonna lie, I've just been sitting here vaping it and vaping it and vaping it, but I'll try to act like this is the first time I'm doing it. Mmm. Ooh. Uh, it, it is really very terribly good. The flavor's really nice. The, the airflow on the k fun's good anyway. And apart from some really good flavor, the one thing that these mouth to lung coils are adding to these mouth to lung tanks that I've never really experienced before is a nice amount of crackle. I love a good crackly atomizer and I especially love a good crackly mouth to lung atomizer. Mm. And as good as the crackle is on Beecher's Clapton's in this k fun they are not nearly as crackly as Turk's coils in this Relo. It's, it's a crackle level that I've never experienced before really in a mouth to lung. Very crackly, very flavorful. I'll admit when I first got this Reload Vapor mouth to lung tank, I threw some round wire in here and I was vaping it and I was very like, unimpressed, very mad. I've got Turk's Mouth to Lung Aliens, 0.54, sitting at 14 watts. And this is hands down the best vape experience I've had with this Reload Mouth to Lung RTA. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna do like a head to head with these coils, but we're here. Why not, why wouldn't we do a little head to head? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beecher's coils are nice, crackly, flavorful. Turk's coils are also. Very flavorful, very rich, very crackly. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say something here that I think is gonna be a little bit shocking to me. So just just stick with me here. As it stands right now, with Turks coils 0.53 triple core aliens in the reload and Beecher's coils at a 0.77 dual core fused Clapton's on the inside of the K fun. I am having a better and more flavorful experience with the Reload and Turks than I am with the k fun and Beechers. Dang. And still really dang, just a little bit less of a dang. Look, it's gonna be, this is difficult. You can't do a head to head with mouth to lung coils, especially when they're you know built differently, different cores on the inside. They're inside different tanks. They have different resistances at different wattages with different air flows. So ultimately the decision is gonna be yours to make. But I will say both of these coils, both Beechers and Turks, really very easy to install. They're both top-notch builders, so it's real easy once you install them to get them glowing real evenly. You just wick it up like you do and you vape it. And now for me, instead of having round wire builds inside my K-Fun and my Reload, I've got Aliens and I've got Clapton's. And as a mouth to lung vapor, just makes me very happy. Very satisfied, very happy. So I'm uh, getting down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out some mouth to lung coils? Eh, maybe, not really. I think it's gonna be different for everybody. I know for sure MTurk is selling his mouth to lung coils. You get two coils in a little, you know, thing. So 25 bucks, two coils, maybe some vape budget hands in there. The thing, I don't have a problem with buying mouth to lung coils, especially triple core aliens, because look, I can try to build some fuse Claptons for a dripper. I could sit there and put in the work and do it. It'd be difficult and they would turn out bad, but I could do it. Little tiny intricate triple core aliens for mouth to lung. That is something that I cannot do. It's something I cannot do and, and I have no desire to learn. So I'm gonna pay someone else to do it. I'm gonna pay Turk to do it. I'm gonna pay Turd to do it. If you're a mouth to lung vapor and you use any mouth to lung tanks and you kind of want to take that to the next level and get a little bit more flavor if you're not already building your coils, they're available. Builders are doing them. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, there's no links allowed in the description thanks to YouTube. So you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you. Seriously, so much for watching. And remember, no matter what any crooked politician tells you, absolutely keep on vaping.
Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, there's no links allowed in the description. Thanks to you.